The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the St. Bernard Levee Partners are in the process of constructing a new levee system to provide a 100-year risk reduction and to raise the protection level between 26 and 32 feet. In August 2005, Hurricane Katrina devastated St. Bernard Parish. At that time, the levee had an elevation of 14 to 15 feet. The storm surge from Hurricane Katrina was approximately 22 to 23 feet, which caused a significant amount of water to flow over the levees and flood the parish. The surge washed away 13 and a half miles, or about 50% of the levees. Today, the St. Bernard Levee Partners are building T-Wall levees. The T-Wall is a concrete and steel structure on top of the existing earthen levee. The top of the levee is cut down wide enough for the base of the T-Wall. From there, a Bauer RTG piling rig will drive sheet pile at a depth of 25 to 40 feet. The primary purpose of the sheet pile is to stop water seepage. The construction of the levee has been designed to withstand the subsidence for the next 50 years. Once the sheet pile is driven, H piles are driven to a depth of 90 to 100 feet to support the T-wall sections. After the piles are driven, a base slab and wall are poured. The T-walls are constructed in 50-foot monolith sections. A monolith is one section of T-wall. The levee is designed in a way that the H-piles support the footings of the T-wall. Theoretically, everything underneath the T-wall could wash out and the structure would remain standing like a bridge deck. The rebar is also tied into the footings through a system of stirrups to provide developmental strength in the concrete. The St. Bernard Levy Partners were given the notice to proceed in February 2010 and are expected to complete the project in June 2011.